I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. The place must have been a grocery store or something. <laughs> that campaign didn't work out too well. Can you get through there? Sure, but I'm betting you can't. Don't worry, I'll find another way. Find another way. Over here, look at this. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. Let me see if I can get this open. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. 
Okay. Will do. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. I'm in. Is it safe? I think so. Come on, will you? Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, I'll look for another way around. Hello? Who's there? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. How'd you get here anyway? Went around the side. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Oh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Hold on, I'll be right there. <sighs> Come on, we need a break here. Will you relax? I'm coming. Angela? How the... Help. The back door is locked. What troubles you? Tell me. What is happening? Soon they will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I 
did see a young girl back there. Tell me about it. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary. Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumours are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child for sure, but this is beyond her. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You'll be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. I figured Angela was just messed up with all that devil stuff, but maybe not. Well, look-alike Angela was arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl, she gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. The woman, Amy, I guess she's in deep shit then. Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Uh. This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead, just like the rest of Little Hope.
Keep looking. Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. Real nice. There's got to be something. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Line's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Don't give up. I feel we're about to find something. What is that? What do you think? Answer it. Wait. Let's think about this. Answer the goddamn phone! Hey, come on! Be a man for once in your miserable life! Fine. Hello? Who is this?
Who's on the line? I can't tell, but they sound in pretty bad shape. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. Do not hang up. This is our best shot at finding out what's going on here. What the f- <laughs> Here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil words shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Well, now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with you, kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? Stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. I feel a chill in my bones. What manner of evil is this? The beast has his malevolent gaze upon us. His servant is among us. What the? Stay out of this. The supposed evidence against me is little more than spiteful imaginings. If there be darkness here among us, I will shine. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me, sir? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am correct, your Mind touch will no release demons. her from this affliction. What ails you? It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hole? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. 
That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! <sighs> We can't either! They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. <laughs> Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nothing that's gonna help us much. But I found this. It's kinda neat. I don't believe it. I saw this exact keychain in my dream. That's pretty weird. It's more than weird. It's significant. I just don't know how. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double, feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad.
Taylor, you need to see this. You've got to be kidding me. What is that thing? You ever have any family here? In this shithole? No way. Why does that weird fucking thing look like me? Daniel, you need to see this. What's going on? Another coincidence. Makes no this sense. This guy looks just like you. No surprise there. Recognize him? No. And I've never been in a band either. Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. I can't see for shit. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor, you keep telling us you're in charge, so... Okay. Sure thing. Is it safe to cross? Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. Right, we'll, we'll get you over for sure. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, sixteen hundred and ninety two. We are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. I don't know how to help you. Tell me what I can do. Please, sir. You must help me. You must.
the devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Little Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poison from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Little Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, Little Hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference. You're very fixed! Isaac. What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Give us a moment here, will ya? We've just gone through something pretty tough. Tough in what way? I need a moment. I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here.
Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. <laughs> well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. As the stakes seem to have been elevated, that gun might prove to be a lifesaver, don't you think? Or the precise opposite? Andrew's keeping it quiet. Good move. Look after number one, right? The boys have some interesting theories. Could they, as Andrew has suggested, be the reincarnated souls of their historical counterparts? Maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory, that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will once again turn to the Bard for some cryptic inspiration. I met him once, you know. I meet everybody once. Act five, scene one, where Cleomenes begs Leontes to forgive himself for causing the death of Hermione. Do as the heavens have done. Forget your evil. With them, forgive yourself. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. <laughs> 